Johnny, turn him over. That's it. Come on, get a hold of him. Come on, Billy. Come on, Billy, that's it. Get that other shoulder down a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> there he goes. I'm betting on that Billy boy, Sam. Come on, come on. Come on, Tom. Look, what that tell you? <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Tom Storm, boss of the crazy ass, the winner. <laughs> I guess you'll have to grow some, son, to beat that big brother of yours. <laughs> Sorry, Tom. I kind of ruined your shirt. Kind of is right. And me with an appointment at the bank. Get me another shirt like a good boy. Going to say about the interest on our loan? That's right. After the next shipment, our worries about foreclosures will be over for a while. We've about to keep cleaned out Valley Range, boss. A little over a thousand head. Gee, that's great. Here you are, Tom. One of my very best shirts. It's a little loud, but then... Loud? loud. It's screaming. <laughs> Hi there. I'll ride with you. Oh, I'm sorry. Sorry, I thought you were Mr. Storm. I am. Tom Storm. Well, you must be Billy's brother. That's right. I guess the checkered shirt fooled you. Yes, Billy always wears one. And you must be Connie Curlew that Billy's always raving over. He's showing some sense. I guess his bringing up is beginning to take. If you can stand me and in the checkered shirt, I'd like to ride to town with you. <laughs> I'll do my best. So you and Billy own all this land? No, not all of it. Over there, Mesa Range, that belongs to us. And to the south, that's Lost River Basin. Thousands of acres of worthless land. Storm's folly, they call it. Yes. Poor old dad thought there was gold there. Went back to cattle raising. My dad says there is gold there. Is he a prospector? Yes, but he says he's going to settle down now. I doubt it. <laughs> There's lots of other deluded folks settling down here. All of this was free grazing land. And now it's cluttered up with little farms that'll never grow anything else but tumbleweeds. Shall we go? All right. Well, Mr. Storm, I'm afraid this is as far as your deluded settler goes. Nestor's your cattleman call us. Oh, Miss Curlew, I... I didn't mean it like that. Friends, aren't we? You bet. Maybe we can finish this argument some other time. All right. Well, sir, the land is yours, and let me assure you, you'll have water within six months. Well, thank you very kindly, Mr. Stanton. Howdy, P.J. Hello, Tom. 
How's the banking business? Up and coming, Tom. How's the cattle business? Not bad considering. Just rounded up a shipment of beef. Likely looking beef, too. It'll pay my interest, but I'll have to ask you to renew the loan. I don't think there'll be any difficulty about that. However, you know conditions do change. Money has been getting a bit tight. But I understood you to say there'd be no trouble about it as long as I paid the interest. Well, I'm quite sure everything will be all right. That's fine. What's all this sudden urge to homestead land around here? See that sign next door? County Land and Development Association? Yes. That's the answer. Well, who's behind that? Stanton. Stanton. How does he expect people to farm without water? He's been promising them water. Well, where's he going to get it? Did you ever hear of that small lake beyond Lost River Basin? Why, that land and water belongs to us. I know, but Stanton's been saying that your title's faulty. Steady, gents. And steadier the better. Get that box open, Prado. I'm doing it as fast as I can. I've got it all, Chief. Try to be a leader, gent. But the door will be covered and we in the clear. Double crosser. <laughs> Sanderson, get the horses ready. They clean you out? Looks like it. Can't tell for sure yet. Let's get the straight of this. Now what happened? You're wasting time, Sheriff. These men will make a clean getaway. I'll ride with you. I don't think we need a posse storm, but thanks just the same. I'll be having a talk with you when I get back. You take care of things. All right, Sheriff. Mighty convenient shooting storm. Meaning? Well, you shoot two shots at two men without hitting either of them. And then you get Spain with one shot. Spain? Yes. The man you beat up and fired. That's not entirely the truth. He mistreated one of my horses and I did fire him. Spain told a different story. He was bringing suit for $50,000 against you, Storm. Now he's dead. And two and two always did make four. Well, I just killed a man. My first. Yes, I know. A bank bandit takes that chance. I wouldn't feel sorry for him, Tom. It was Link Spain. Stanton just congratulated me for shooting myself out of a $50,000 suit. $50,000 suit for what? Assault and battery, which wasn't true. The note on your property falls due pretty soon, doesn't it, Tom? The storms go all mixed up in the lawsuit. It seems to me that the bank might find it mighty unhandy not to renew. Tom, someone's after that ranch of yours. What makes you think so? Well, don't you see? Spain brings a $50,000 suit. The bank's cash is cleared out. Mighty good excuse to refuse renewal of loan. Then Stanton starts litigation over your water rights. It all adds up. Well, 
I never thought of it that way. Never packed a gun, did you, sir? No, never. I would if I were you. And keep your eyes open. All right. I'll keep my eyes open. Thanks, Steve. Anything happened while I was gone? Brown of the Circle Y was over, looking for 25 head of cattle that he's missing. He thinks they might have been driven over the border. Driven over the border? Why, they couldn't be. The only way is over our land. That's right. Where's Billy? He's been gone. Oh. Here's your stuff, Cookie. Where you been, Billy? Back to the ranch house for supplies. Why? Oh, nothing. Saw your girl. Which one? Constance Curlew. If you got any other, you're crazy. I wish she was my girl. She's sure sweet. Anything doing in town? Oh, nothing exciting. By the way, I bought you a swell shirt, Tom. What did you use for money? I forgot to give you some this morning. Uh, I borrowed some. I'll get it for you. Here it is, Tom. Hope you like it. I think I'll help Cookie with the dinner. Hello, Sanderson. Howdy. Where's the sheriff? He's still out looking for him. He sent me in to see if you could give us anything to work on. I don't believe I can. I didn't see their faces. One of them wore a checkered shirt, didn't he? Yes. But so did I, and, and you have one on. All your boys stick to camp today, Storm? Why, you know I wasn't here. How about it, Dunn? Mm, all present and accounted for. Hey, Sanderson. You ain't hitting at any of our boys here. No. Right? No, I reckon not. Just a routine question. Hey, it came from this direction. Come on. Billy, were you here last night when Sanderson was killed? Yes. Why didn't you join the searching party? Well, I was, I was tired and my horse had a lame shoulder. Hmm. Did, uh, did you find anything? Yeah, we found where a couple of fellas hit out and also found this 30-30 shell. Judging from the hole we found in poor Ned, huh, it must have been a soft-nosed bullet. Say, you don't know anybody around here who used them kind of bullets in a 30-30, do you? 
Why? Why, ask me. Oh, nothing. Thought you might have had an idea, that's all. Just forget it. Is that all you found? No. I found the tracks of a couple of riders. One of the horses had cast a shoe. It might be something to work on. Tom, when did you change that shirt? When I came into camp yesterday. Was that before Sanderson was killed? Hmm. He was about your height, wasn't he? And with that checkered shirt on, why they... You mean I thought they were shooting at Tom? Tom? I always knew there'd come a time when I'd hate being sheriff. Do you want to tell me anything? I don't get you. I raised you from a pup. Ever since Dad died and left me in charge of this outfit. And I aim to ride herd on you a while longer. If you're in a jam, kid, I... Tom, I... I gotta be going. Red! Give me your gun. Why, Tom, give me the gun. What are you doing here? I thought I'd drop in and finish up that little argument. Oh, I want you to meet my dad. I'd be glad to. Dad, this is Mr. Storm. Storm? Billy's brother, Tom Storm. Oh. I'm glad to know you, Mr. Curlew. Yeah, same to you. Nice little shop you have here. Yeah, I shoe all my own stock. Ever do any outside work? Why, I... Oh, yes, Dad does quite a bit. The extra money comes in handy, too. Looks like you've been busy today. No. Ain't nobody been in. Excuse me, I'm cleaning up some prospecting tools. I suppose you knew Billy was coming in to take me for a ride. I didn't. Great kid, isn't he? Lucky one, too. You and he'll make a great pair. <laughs> Why, he's just a kid. Thank you, Mr. Storm, but I'll do my own choosing. All right. When you see Billy, tell him I'm staying in town tonight. He can bunk with me. I won't forget. Goodbye. Goodbye. Dad, why did you tell Mr. Storm no one came here today? Those two rough-looking men were here. Because it ain't none of his business. Any new developments? Plenty. You're right, Steve. Somebody's out to get the storms. I just met Thurman on the street, and he says the bank won't be able to renew my loan. Claims the holdup kind of crippled him. And old man Curlew. Know him? Yeah. Well, he's mixed up in this business some way. And Billy. He's in some kind of a jam. Just as I said. Guess Thurman and I aren't tried excuse in refusing to extend your loan. 
And someone who doesn't particularly like the storms has a sizable chunk of cash to play with. But Curlew, I think you're wrong. I'll have a talk with Billy. Thanks. I think I'll drop down and see the sheriff. He's not around. I'll be back for an hour. Well, I'll loaf around a while. All right, huh? Well, hello, Tom. Hello. I hear Sanderson was killed at your camp last night. That's right. That's too bad. Any ideas to who did it? Yeah. Who? That information's for the sheriff only. Well, I figured he'd be hot on the trail of the men that downed his deputy. He will be, when I talk to him. When do you aim to see him? Oh, he'll be back in about an hour. A fine bunch of gunmen you are. Can't get one man when it means millions of dollars. I'm getting a little worried about this whole setup. When are we going to split the bank, though? No. I told you we're using that to buy the Storm property. The bank don't own that property. Remember, Storm hasn't reneged on the loan yet. He can still pay off. Max, I just saw Storm in town. Well, what of it? Just this. I overheard him telling a fella he knew who shot Sanderson. And he was going to be at the sheriff's office in an hour. This stalling around to get that property is going to hang all of us. Why can't you be satisfied with the money you got from the bank? I'm boss here, Max. Why can't we all go down to the sheriff's office and form a little reception committee for Mr. Storm? I get it. What about the kid brother? Who, Billy? We've got him where we want him. He won't do a thing. Come on, we haven't got much time. Stick him up! I'm so glad you showed up. Somebody started something and I'm going to finish it. Nothing to get excited about. What those things? Daniel, you a man here by the name of Shives held me up. They hid out in my office to get Tom Storms. But Daniels killed Shives instead. Marshal. Now the show's over, folks. Go on home. Over, is it, Sheriff? No inquiry? No inquest into this killing? I told you how it happened. Yes. You told us your version. How do we know Storm didn't do it? He killed one man. Why not two? We demand an inquest. Go ahead, Sheriff. Call an inquest. I'll testify. Very well, Mr. Stanton. An inquest will be called tomorrow morning. What's worrying you? That inquest, Tom, it's a mighty unfriendly bunch will be there. I know. Well, I'm going out to camp now and tell my outfit to ask the other ranchers to have a few good men here in town. I'll leave Dunn and Cook to guard the herd. Quit that walking around. Sit down, talk. Let's get it over with. I was waiting for you, kid. I've told you a thousand times I don't know anything. You're all wrong. All right, then. Today is the second time they've tried to kill your brother Tom. The next time, they may be more successful. I told them to... Lay off, Tom. Yeah. They're not worth shielding. How much do you know? Well, I happen to know that you lost a considerable chunk of money to Stanton playing poker. I 
Paid back all but 2,000 of that. He's got my note for the rest. Paid back? How? Stanton introduced me to a man named Max Durant. Durant, the cattle rustler? I thought he was in Mexico for his help. No, he's back. Go on. Max has been driving stolen cattle across the border through a draw on our land. He's been paying me to tell him when the coast is clear. What about the holder? I wasn't in that, Steve, I swear. Max wanted me to, but I, I turned him down cold. I see. So then they framed you into it. Frame me? How? One of the bandits was wearing a checkered shirt. I believe that's your specialty. Don't you realize that Stanton and his gang are out to get Tom through you? Now, with your help, I think we'll be able to put that bunch away for good. Where are you going, kid? You certainly made a mess of things, Stanton. This fellow Storm's a little bit tougher than you thought he was. Don't worry about him. After the inquest, I'll have Storm in jail. Oh, no, you won't. Put that gun down, Billy. What's the big idea? I'm turning the whole rotten bunch of you over to the law. Yeah? What about yourself? I'm not thinking of myself anymore. Start moving. <laughs> Boys. All right, Max. Get that wall lamp lighted. Yeah, wait a minute. We can't let that kid get away now. He knows too much. Ah, he won't talk. I ain't so sure about that. And supposing you don't put Tom Storm in jail, what happens then? I've taken care of that, too. I'm putting pressure on Thurman to demand payment of his notes. Now listen, Max. Tom's got a thousand head of cattle that he's expecting to sell. Supposing that herd should disappear. He'd find himself in a pretty tough spot, wouldn't he? Sounds all right to me. He must have got away, Max. I'm worried about that kid. Ah, oh, you're getting fidgety. Forget about it. Now get on the job and report to me as soon as possible. All right, we'll pick up the rest of the boys on the way out. Okay. Hey, Cookie, hurry up with that fire. I want my coffee. Somebody's in a heck of a hurry. Ah, it's Billy. He sure is churning the dirt. There's a gang coming to drive off the cattle. Now, now, Billy, take it easy. What's it all about? There's no time for an explanation. We've got to save that herd. If we can drive them in Knox Canyon, we can hold them against an army. Here they come! You and Cookie, get the rest of the boys and get those cattle started. I'll take care of the rest. I ain't going to leave you here alone. I'm giving orders here. Start that herd. Okay, boss.
It's about time for the inquest, Tom. Oh, good morning, Tommy. Good morning, Tom. What can we do for you, young lady? It's about my father. He's gone. Gone? Yes, he disappeared without saying a word. Oh, you don't think he had anything to do with all this? I know he didn't. Now, don't you worry. We'll look into it after the inquest. You go on home. Thank you, Tom. I hope we're wrong about Curlew. So do I. We, the jury, find the deceased came to his end by means of a gunshot wound inflicted at the hands of Mike Daniels. I protest that verdict. Why? Both Daniels and Storm should be held. Some of us think that Storm shot Chives and it wasn't an accident. Furthermore, I demand the arrest of Bill Storm for taking part in the bank robbery. Billy Storm is dead. How did it happen? Talk, Dunn. Well, there was a fight, Tom. Rustlers. They tried to steal the herd, but we drove them up the canyon to save them while Billy stood off the gang. Steady, Tom. Did you recognize any of them? No, I didn't get close enough. And when they saw it was no use, they pulled out. Which way did they go? They headed south from our camp. Boys, I think we'd better separate and see if we can pick up the trail. I'm going back in town and slap Stanton in a jail. I know he's in there somewhere. So do I. But I'm not ready for that yet. I want the murderer of my brother. I think we better double back to town and scatter for a while. Look! Ain't that old man Curlew? Looks as if the goal ain't gonna be a secret much longer. Meddling old fool. It came from over there. See that ragged hole? A soft-nosed bullet did that. The same kind that killed Sanderson and Billy. There they are, Tom. We gotta work fast. Now we're gonna have the sheriff on a trail. Go get a hold of Stan and tell him to beat my place. Let's get them. Uh... No, wait a minute. He'll die if we don't get him to a doctor. Give me a hand. I'm sure your father will be all right. Doctor, how is he? Don't you worry, young lady. It'll take more than a bullet to kill a tough old bird like your father. Just take good care of it. Thank you. Oh, I'm so thankful. Isn't it wonderful, Dad, finding the gold on your land? Yes. But, Tom, you don't have to worry now. Oh, yes, I do. The bank won't renew my loan, and if anything should happen to those cattle, I wouldn't be able to pay. Stanton knows that. I won't feel safe until my cattle are shipped and the money's in my pocket. I've got a feeling something more is going to happen. Maybe tonight. Well, couldn't... Couldn't someone else handle it for you? No. If something does happen, I want to be there. But, Tom, you might be hurt. Would it mean so much to you if... If something did happen to me? 
Goodbye, Connie. I'll see you in the morning. Why did you send for me, Durank? You know better than that. I had to. That gold on Storm's Ranch ain't gonna be a secret much longer. What do you mean? I found old Curlew poking around out there. Looks like he found something. You didn't let him get away, did you? No. He's still there. But things are getting pretty hot here. I'm thinking of getting out of it. Well, you're gonna stay right here and you're gonna do as I say. Yes, but we're not getting any place. Anyway, I'd like to see a payoff. For what? From cattle stealing to murder. Ain't that enough? No. I'm running this show. Now, you and the boys are gonna stampede Tom's cattle tonight so that he can't pay that note tomorrow or I'll have you all swinging higher than a kite. Okay. That's better. Now, as soon as I get what I want, you'll get yours. Now, get busy. Everything all right? Sure, Tom. I've got Red and the rest of the boys watching the herd. They're safe enough. I wish they were loaded and on their way. Well, so do I, but it'll be light soon. We hadn't better wait any longer. You and the boys start moving him. I'll be with you in a little while. Maybe you're wise, Tom. Better put some coffee on, it'll be a long night. All right, Tom. Well, there's a lot of beef that won't ever see the stockyards. Yeah, I reckon we drove every steer over the rim of the mesa. And Tom Storm was with them. Last I saw of him, he was right in the thick of them, trying to turn the critters. Say, come on, Hank, we've got to get through to Stanton. Arresting Stanton is one thing, and proving him guilty is another. Yes, it'd be hard without Billy's testimony. I reckon you're right. He's sure out to get those Storm boys. Why, he even accused little Billy of being in the bank holdup and tried to pin a murder on Tom. By the way, have you seen Tom this morning? No. I'm worried about him. Sheriff, I'm from the Circle U, next to the crazy ass ranch. Tom's cattle are stampeded last night, and there's a lot of shooting. And Storm's missing. I'll send a searching party right away.
thought I was seeing things. The storm, all right. Looks like you're washed up, Mr. Storm. Ain't I, Mike? Max. Yeah. Max Durant. Maybe you know me by reputation. Yeah. I've heard of you. You've been cheating the rope a long time. Well, let me give it to him now, boss. We're going to take him back with us. What for? That's my business. All right, start walking, Storm. When is Storm's note due? It's due now. That's what I thought. Now, there's no chance of this note being paid. So, according to law, the property goes up to auction to protect the bank. In a bit of a hurry, aren't you, Stanton? I'm only asking you to observe the law. Seems to me we ought to hold off a bit. We don't know for sure that Storm's dead. I think you'd better do as I tell you, Thurman. Take him in there, Hank. We're going to keep you here for a while. You're big-hearted, ain't you? Never mind. I'd get him in there, Hank. What's the idea of keeping him here? I've got a hunch. Stanton's trying to double-cross us. What good is he going to do you? Suppose I tell Stanton I've got Storm here. And if you don't play ball with me, I'm going to turn Storm loose on him. Hey, that ain't a bad idea, Max. Bring on some char, Jack. Sure tore things up around here, didn't they? Say, Jim, you and I better take a look up the canyon there. Herb, you boys go off down the draw there, see what you can find down there. Hello, Thurman. Hello, Sheriff. I just came in to tell you that I expect some good news soon from Tom. Yes, yes, of course, Sheriff. You know the bank holds Storm's notes and the crazy S is security for them. What about it? Well, those notes are overdue. The bank formally demands that you sell at auction that ranch to protect its interests. When? Tomorrow, noon. He is. Tom Storm. This is his hat, all right. I'll bet this is his gun. He must be somewhere around. Let's get the others and start looking. thousand dollars credited to my account. That ought to be enough to buy this storm ranch. Thanks. See you at the auction in about an hour, eh?
Nice job you've got, Sheriff. You don't have to remind me about it. You ain't got $100,000 stuffed away so we can stop that, have you? Well, not just at the minute. Well, we better get this thing going. The quicker we get it over with, the better I like it. All of which means that I'm offering the Crazy S Ranch land, stock, and brand at public sale. What am I bid? Thirty thousand. Fifty thousand. Sixty thousand. One hundred thousand. Sheriff, I advise you to require the last bidder to prove his ability to pay that amount. Right, Herman, you must be crazy. I got your receipt for a hundred thousand deposited not over an hour ago. You acknowledge that? Why, of course I do. That's part of the money stolen from the bank. Can you prove that? Serial numbers never lie. Wait a minute, Santa. You and I are going for a walk. Gotta make tracks, Matt. Stanton's in jail, charged with possession of the money we took from the bank. Our dough? Where is it now? I don't know. I didn't wait to find out. A lot of brains you've got. We're gonna tear that jail apart. And let's ah, let Stanton rot there. Time we fanned out of here. Oh no! Without the money, Stanton will be darn anxious. Tell me where it is before I get through with him. Come on, we'll pick up the rest of the boys on the way out. You stay here and ride herd on storm. What do you want? You're getting kind of careless leaving those soft-nosed bullets around, aren't you? This ain't mine. Max uses these kind of bullets. Don't bother me.
Watch the other side of the street. Drop that gun. I figured you'd get here, Max. Oh, then you ain't disappointed. Where's our dough? Get me out of here and I'll get it for you. Where's our dough? It's in the bank safe. Listen, Max, I know the combination. Let him out. Just so you don't get smart. All right, Stanton. Yeah, yeah. Don't you think you better stay out here and kind of watch things? No, I'm going in with you. You might need a little help. Open that safe. Get off that horse! Get off that horse! Don't shoot, Tom. Give me a break. Yeah, I'll give you a break. The same kind that you gave my brother in Sanderson. Only that's too good for you. You're going out on the end of a rope. Get up. It's Tom! Well, I'm sure glad to see you, Tom. We've been looking everywhere for you. This is the murder of my brother and Sanderson. And I've got plenty of evidence to prove it. Well, that about cleans up everything. Nope, not yet. I've got one other to take care of. Hold on. Tom. What did you do with my dad? Can I come in now? No! <laughs> <laughs> 